Hello, this is Dr. Joanne Manson, Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'd like to talk with you about recent promising research from the vitamin D and omega-3 trial, VITAL, in the prevention of autoimmune diseases, recently published in the British Medical Journal. In VITAL, we tested vitamin D 2,000 IUs a day in the marine omega-3 fatty acids, one gram a day, in a study population of more than 25,000 U.S. adults above the age of 50 and treated for more than five years. And the main goals um, were prevention of cancer and cardiovascular disease, but we were also interested in other outcomes, including autoimmune diseases, and collaborated with colleagues in rheumatology, Dr. Jill Hahn and Dr. Karen Kostenbader, to look at a composite of autoimmune disorders as well as individual conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, psoriasis, autoimmune thyroid disease, and others after uh, confirming with medical records. And we were interested in th these endpoints because it's been shown in laboratory and clinical studies that vitamin D does regulate genes that are involved with immunity and also with immune modulation. And both vitamin D and omega-3s have been shown to reduce or tamp down inflammation. So we were interested in their effects on autoimmune disorders for which there really are no known primary preventive modalities. What we found was that vitamin D did significantly reduce the risk of a composite of autoimmune disorders, a 22% significant reduction. And when compared to a reference group that received placebo, double placebo for both um, placebo for vitamin D, placebo for omega-3s, compared to that group, uh, the reduction reduction in composite autoimmune diseases was greater than 30 percent with vitamin D. And then accounting for latency, those who were in the trial for uh, at least two years, uh, the reduction was closer to 40 percent. For the omega-3s, we didn't see a statistically significant reduction, but there was a promising signal of about a 15 percent reduction. So we're interested in continuing to follow the participants to see if these results strengthen over time. And we also would like to do replication studies and look at a younger populations, autoimmune diseases are often developing earlier in life, to look at younger adults um, and the effects of these interventions as well as those who are at high risk of autoimmune disorders due to a strong family history or other risk factors. Thank you so much for your attention. This is Joanne Manson.